Yeah, my name's Mark Hobson. Um, I live on the west coast of Vancouver Island uh, and make my living as an artist based in Tofino, BC. Um, I originally was trained as a biologist but uh, acquired a great passion for the outer west coast of Vancouver Island and, and the rest of the British Columbia coast and, uh, and really that's what I, I, I tend to paint these days. In my background I was uh, fortunate as a kid to travel a lot with my parents. My dad's work took us all over the world. We lived in places as diverse as uh, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka, Nigeria and even in parts of Europe. Um, but what really uh, moved me to get attracted to the coast was uh, at the age of 17 when I was just starting university my parents moved to Kitimat BC and uh, my dad was involved in industry there for about six years and during that time we took a trip uh, up the BC coast from Vancouver and that was my first exposure to the, the Great Bear Rainforest. It wasn't called that in originally. But uh, anywhere from the northern end of Vancouver Island up to the Prince Rupert uh, area and beyond up to Alaska is really termed now the Great Bear Rainforest and that area is really under threat by the uh, proposed uh, pipeline that will be coming from the, the tar sands of Alberta across northern BC. <clears throat> it comes into Kitimat um, in the northern coast of British Columbia and really the pipeline is one issue the potential of an of a earthquake or a landslide bursting that pipe is very very high in the BC coast but even a far greater risk to the coast of BC is the potential of a of an oil spill from a tanker now the, the scary thing is that these tankers are, are very large um, there's, we've had in 23 years ago in 1989 the Exxon Valdez spilled with only a quarter of the volume that these uh, super tankers will be carrying. Um, having lived in Kitimat, I'm very familiar with the the coast uh, from Kitimat down to uh, the outer coast. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. There's a very narrow but uh, deep channel called Douglas Channel. But for anybody that knows the coast, the exit of that. Douglas Channel to the open sea where the oil tankers are going to be traveling is just it's ridden with um, reefs, shallow waters, absolutely gorgeous country, islands and beaches. Um, for these tankers to get through that area um, they're going to have to make two S-turns to get out to the open sea around Campania Island and this is the the big danger on the coast because there's almost uh, with 240 tankers traveling in a course of a year this is the estimate and each of them four or five times the size of the Exxon Valdez, it's almost inevitable that there will be an, a, a spill of some kind in that area, probably within within a very short period of time. Um, the big worry is that, of course, this oil will spill, and if it travels anywhere like um, the journey that the oil did from the Exxon Valdez, we are seeing pretty well the entire BC coast north of Vancouver Island uh, will be completely covered in oil. Um, I experienced an oil spill in, T in Tofino in 1989. We had a smaller spill here, and uh, it was considered to be an insignificant spill but uh, having seen it with my own eyes and many of the people here will agree with me this was nothing insignificant at all. There were 56,000 seabirds estimated to have died during that spill and uh, the same threat uh, on the BC coast has just galvanized myself and many many people to do something to make sure that this never happens on this coast.